Hey guys, Ben is up here. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a scratch horror game. And this is one of my first tutorial videos. But first, you wanna get rid of this cat and make a new some player. So my player is gonna be um pretty weird. And this is not like the enemies or like the, the, the monsters or something. So get little guy there, there's a little man. I'm gonna make you blue. Oh yeah, and uh, I'm gonna make his little face, make his mouth, ooh the boo, mm hmm mm. Now this is obviously gonna be in multiple videos. <sighs> Whoa, whoops, <laughs> big legs. Ooh. And we're gonna rename him. Later. Now, we got that guy. Yeah, that. Shrink him. So he can actually be like not the size of Mount Everest. Um, now, what we want to do is where is that picture? Now. So, we're going to copy this. So. This is a picture I have. Screenshot, obviously, as you can see. So, uh, what we want to do is, when flag is clicked, um, so when flag is clicked, what we want to do is go to, you know this one, wherever he is standing. So that works there, and then we want to get a forever. If up error change y change y by five now you want to duplicate put it there so now what we have um just that's it this works out and when it's flagged he'll go back to the beginning so that's working it's not failing yet <laughs> yet <laughs> and then we're gonna do down arrow no no oh yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. change y by minus three negative three so now we got up and down up and down up and down yeah um now we got when left error. Change X by negative three. Negative three or minus three. Doesn't really matter. Do, do, do. Now we know need to do the thing with the right error. So when right. Change X. Oh, it was already left. Huh? By just three. Now we should get the character movement down. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. and that's it for this video. No, just kidding. <laughs> we are not done. That's too short. Now down and left and right, like it's slower than up, but it works. So we want to put him in the center. So now we can close this. Close it. Anymore. I, I got that there just in case because I forget. Now, what we want to do is a backdrop. Now, we want a backdrop. And we're going to make it. What color? Let's get some gray. This kind of gray. Yeah, that's good. And we want to add a doorway. Or a hallway. We'll do it all way. It's easier. I should do this. But you know what, let's do this. I use like the square. Now we got that doorway. To make it look more like a door, instead of like a, you don't have to do this, but to make it look more realistic, I'll get a, uh, it's called, no, no. Where's the zoo? It's the zoo. Okay. You wanna add this little yellow thing and do a line that, oh no. Do a little line. Yeah, eh, eh. 
there. Now it looks like a doorknob. Yeah, that's good. Now we want to um duplicate and erase that. And we'll make this room have a little shelf. I'm not gonna do this side. Oh like this. It, it, it. That's too thin. Really bad, but no, 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 that's terrible. That's a terrible shelf. I think we gotta do it like no, oh, man. Okay, so I think we gotta do it like not like that. Wait, oh, yeah, like this. But sorry for wasting time. So we'll make like a, a bench. We'll just do it like this. Like hanging from the ceiling. Okay. And we'll have something there. We'll have some, a little eyeball. Oh yeah, it's gonna be like watching you. Well, this, it can't like look around. No, not the code. I don't know how to do code. But we'll do a little thing after for this room. So we'll add something and then you'll see what it will be after. So this is going to be like the exit room. So we're going to get a color. We'll get this color. Maybe. So we'll get this color. Oops, <laughs> and this is gonna be the exit. You can have a little key lock. This. And I'm drawing like super far away on like a keypad, so it's gonna be really hard. So my drawing's gonna be pretty like blah blah. The keyhole, and I'm gonna make a sign. So, like white. we're gonna do is draw a little thing here we're gonna oh no, we'll do that after blah, blah, blah. we'll do that after now first now uh, what we want to do is when flag is clicked switch backdrop to back no 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 switch backdrop to backdrop one so let me click the flag it will switch there now now the thing we want to see when we touch the door it's obviously going to do nothing, right? So it's not going to do anything. So what we want to do is, um, when when flag is clicked, if touching color, so you click that little color thing, and instead of like searching around like this to find the right color, go to your area and click on the color so touching that color it will switch backdrop to backdrop too now what we do is if we walk to it oh wait what? wait that is wrong ooh, ooh, ooh. Um. oh yeah i did okay so to do that it will go to here now you want to say what? But wait. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do is... If... Um... 
message um exit exit room sorry for that little thing i did wrong now if um when when i receive exit room switch back to backdrop two Now it should work. <laughs> oh, that's what. Um. No. Oh my gosh, I'm doing this wrong. Sorry, guys. I'm doing it so bad. I'm so damn at the age. Why is this not? I'll be right back guys and I'll 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 continue when I get it. <laughs> 